The idea is to enable the forest's inhabitants, the pygmies, to use the global positioning system to communicate with logging companies. Over 9,000 Benjele pygmies live in this part of the vast Congo River basin. The huge trees here are the center of life for the pygmies, but the land is also used for logging. Some of these trees are sacred to the pygmies, some are rich in fruits and nuts. But the logging companies often didn't know which trees or areas were important to the pygmies and which were not. Communication is the key, according to the World Bank's Giuseppe Topa. The pygmies know the territory, know the trees, know the smell of the forest, and know where the animals are and when the animals are in different seasons. And so the GPS technology allows to capture this and to communicate this in ways that are not mistakable. So what we've done is developed a system by which they can identify the areas by clicking on a GPS that are important to them. So this is important because it's a sacred area. Blick, it takes a GPS reading. This is important because our ancestors are buried here. This is important because we gather food here. The system is easy. The pygmies don't need to read or write. When they come upon important trees or stands of trees, they simply click upon an icon on the GPS and their location bounces off a satellite and gets mapped for the logging company. Scott Poynton of the Tropical Forest Trust says the logging company, CIB, has honored the pygmies' choices and steers clear of the designated areas. If you're going to do sustainable forest management and you're going to do it right, you've got to listen to these people. You've got to give them a voice. The World Bank gave the startup money for this project. And according to the bank, the key here is old technology used for a new purpose. This is a new approach to communication to communicate between people who want to collaborate and who have not found a way to communicate yet. The handheld GPS devices have been in use in the Congo Basin since June of 2006, and the program so far is working so well that there are plans to expand it to nearby Cameroon and then perhaps to the tropical forests of Asia.